Hey, it's Laura Cox. I'm here in Barcelona at Music Holic Studios, and I'm gonna play this Orange Amps. I started playing guitar at 14. Uh, I grew up listening to uh, great country music because my father uh, was listening to country when I was a child. Um, and so I grew up listening to Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson. Um, and then when I was in high school, I met some friends and we started listening to hard rock bands like the Guns N' Roses and Dire Straits and uh, ACDC, Leonard Skinner. And uh, that's when I... Uh, really got interested in playing guitar. Um, and I think I, I chose the guitar because when you're into rock and roll, that's the ma main thing you, you're, you hear. You just want to recreate the, the riff you grew up listening to. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure I choose the guitar. For me, it was, uh, I, um, I had no other choice. <laughs> it was, uh, I wanted to play guitar uh, the for no reason, but I, I, I knew I wanted to do that. Um, so yeah, I grew up listening to country, then hard rock bands, um, and um, and uh, when I started playing uh, the guitar, my main influences were Slash, because for me he's the guitar hero, and I I fell in love with uh, his uh, his sound, his tone. Uh, I really loved uh, his tone on the Knocking on Heaven's Door solo, and I always thought he was playing on a on a Les Paul, uh, were on the um, on the Les Paul on the on the neck pickup. Uh, so <laughs> I bought a Les Paul, and then I uh, I realized I, I read somewhere that actually this solo was recorded uh, with a, a flying V. <laughs> so, but I still love Les Paul, and I'm still playing one. So, um, so yeah, my first guitar hero was Slash. Um, then Mark Knopfler, because I was totally obsessed with uh, his finger picking, his right hand technique. And I think uh, Mark Knopfler is also a lefty playing right handed like me. Um, and there was also later uh, Joe Bonamassa, because for me he's just perfection. Like uh, his right hand he technique has nothing to do with uh, Mark Knopfler, but he has a very articulate. Uh, way of playing um, his right hand. So these were my uh, three uh, favorite guitarists. So I started playing the guitar at 14 and then I think that two years, two or three years after that, two years I think, I started uploading videos on, uh, on YouTube. But at that time I really had nothing in mind. I, I was just uh, spending a lot of time watching other YouTubers uh, covering classic rock solos, and I wanted to recreate and to recreate uh, those solos, and it motivated me to uh, to play like like them. Um, so yeah, I started uploading videos, and I don't remember the the exact year. I think it was in 2006, maybe my first video. So it's it's old, <laughs> um, and um, but yeah, I really had nothing in mind, not, not any any. Uh, goal any yeah c idea of a of a career or something uh, i was uh, uh doing studies uh and um and yeah i i, I could spend hours uh, watching videos on youtube and, and playing those solos uh, and then uh, i met mathieu the other guitarist in the band and um, he told me, you know, you have to go out and play with real musicians in instead of playing alone in your bedroom. And at the time, I was really not shy, but I I, I like to uh, to um, to play uh, to play guitar just on my own, recording my own videos, um, and uh, just be <laughs> be be in my bedroom on, on my own. And uh, yeah, he told me you have to go out to meet real musicians and to play with them. Um, and I wasn't really feeling comfortable at first. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we started the, the, the band like uh, in 2014, I think. So uh, almost 10 years uh, after I uh, started playing guitar. Uh, it's a long time because I know most of the time guitarists um, start to, to learn and then they go in a band just uh, right after. And uh, I, I think I should have done that because uh, like almost 10 years is, is a long, very, very long time. Uh, but yeah, we started the band um, and there wasn't a real transition between the YouTube and the band. I'm still doing both. 
Um, but yeah, the the band now is my main activity and my uh, it's my prior priority now. Uh, but I, I don't want to give up on, on YouTube because uh, that's where I, I started. And uh, I know that people will never get to see us live. So they just have YouTube and I, I want to keep uploading videos from time to time. So we have this new album. It's called Burning Bright. Uh, it was released in uh, la last November, November 2019. Um, and this time we have it was released worldwide. And that that's why I'm so happy about it because people, more people, get to listen to it. And um, the difference between Burning Bright and the previous one, Hot Blue Shot, uh, is that Burning Bright is a more personal album. I think. Um, Hard Blue Shot was um, more classic rock. Um, it was really a mix uh, between all of my guitar heroes. And uh, Burning Bright uh, is more like uh, what I'm listening to right now. Uh, newer stuff. Uh, there are different atm atmospheres. Uh, we have softer songs, we have harder songs. And li yeah, like I said, it's more personal because uh, when we recorded uh, our first album, Hard Blue Shot, um, I mostly wrote the lyrics with Mathieu, the other guitarist in the band. Um, but Burning Bright, uh, I think I uh, almost wrote everything by myself. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's more mature. It's, it, it sounds like what we are listening to right now. We've been uh, writing songs for two years, yeah, w working on it for the two pa past years. Um, and we're, we're really happy about it. We recorded it uh, last uh, January, I think. Um, and now we are already uh, working on the next album and uh, trying to, uh, to find new riffs and new, new ideas. And uh, I, I can't wait to, to record our, our new album. So. But I'm really happy about Burning Bright and uh, uh, people are, uh, are extremely nice about it and they, they seem to like it. And like I said, it's a worldwide now so it's a really good thing for us i uh, i played with orange amps as long for as long as i can remember actually i think uh, we we started the band like in 2014 uh, and i at that time i got a dual terror uh, because it w it was a small and compact head, and that uh, that was the only head I could carry. It was really easy easy to use, easy to to um, to take on the road. Um, but uh, Mathieu, uh, the other guitarist, had a, a big Marshall amp, and I wanted a, a fatter sound, so um, I um, I switched for a Rocker uh, 50, and then more recently I got a Rocker. 100 and it, it's great. It's like the classic rock sound that I like and we have different sounds in the band like we have Marshall and I have Orange because I I prefer the the fat tone. I, I like how Orange sounds a uh, you know uh, thick and uh, organic. It's a uh, and they look great on stage. We have the those big stacks and it's a uh, they're, they're great. So yeah. Orange are my go-to amps for uh, as long as I can remember. <laughs> It cleans up nicely when you you want to to go softer. So I love orange amps. <laughs> I started playing uh, on a little dual terror, and then I contacted uh, the guys from Orange in France, and uh, I said to them that I was touring. At, at the time, the the band was uh, smaller, 
and uh, we 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 started touring, and that I'd like to get an, an endorsement if it was possible. And the guys were really enthusiastic, so it began like this, and then they got me in touch with the guys uh, in England and uh, in the U.S. and in Spain. <laughs> uh, we we got to play in uh, some convention and some. Uh, it was uh, it was it was great. So it started like this. I was already playing Orange Amps, and then I got in touch with the guys in France, and uh, everything just uh, escalated. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm still here playing Orange, so <laughs> everything is great. I think I, I'm lucky because. Uh, I never really had any bad experiences. I'm surrounded by a great team um, and we mostly meet really nice people on the road. It's fun and cool being a girl on tour and playing rock and roll. I can't complain. I, uh, there, there are some really great sides about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd like to think that uh, being a man and a woman or a woman um, in the music industry is the same, but I don't really think so. Because being a woman, you have to work twice as hard to um, to prove that you're here for a reason and that you can you can make it. Um, so, but that's a good thing. It's motivating. I have to work harder and harder, and um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to uh, keep on touring and recording new albums. And for the the new little girls that are starting playing guitar, um, I'd say. Just uh, listen to yourself. If you want to play rock and roll, just don't buy a classical guitar or, or an acoustic one. You can just start playing rock and roll on an electric guitar. It's a great thing. And I think that uh, most of the time, um, girls think that they have to, to choose the acoustic guitar because it's, uh, it's softer music and it's, uh, it's something that uh, girl, girls usually play. Um, but no, just pick up an electric guitar and play rock and roll, and it's all that matters. Um, so yeah, just listen to yourself. Uh, don't listen to uh, anybody else, and uh, everything will be fine.